You would think NBA teams eventually would get the message. You would think these NBA teams, after enough time, would learn their damn lesson. But no, 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 no. They just can't help themselves. Now, look, I understand. Marcin Gortat and John Wall apparently had some beef, some issue. They got into it. And when you're the Wizards, you're paying John Wall $40 million a year. Gortat's coming to the end of his contract. Gortat's a nice player, but he's not John Wall. It's not hard to figure out who's got to hit the bricks if it's one or the other. So you get trade away Gortat. That means that you've got to find a replacement there because Gortat was a solid NBA big. He's a solid NBA center. And a couple of years back when I crapped on the contract at the time, five years, $60 million, well, Christ, based off of the way the salary cap exploded and the stupid money people gave out, like $64 million over four years to Timothy Mozgov, that Gortat contract, in retrospect, looked like a pretty damn good value. But it left a gaping hole for the Wizards. Not at the end of the day that it really mattered that much because while Gortat was solid and you've got John Wall and Bradley Beal and Otto Porter, that team's going nowhere fast and everybody knows it. They're missing something, probably a couple of some things, and Gortat wasn't the guy to get it done. So I can understand wanting to move on and find somebody else to bring a different dynamic, somebody that could bring you something more, and in the process get more out of your team. I completely understand that. But unless the different dynamic you're going for is either A, destroying locker rooms, or B, making bastard babies and spreading God's love and women's vajayjays all over the globe, Dwight Howard's not your man. I don't care if it's for one year, five million. I don't care if it's for five years, a hundred million. Why would any team want any part of Dwight Howard? You've seen his body of work over the years. Sure, he puts up some garbage-ass points on putbacks and alley-oops and occasionally catches defenders sleeping. But he works on his back-to-the-basket game about as much as his pull-out game. And guess how much that is? Uh -uh, about bupkis, buddy! But you know who Dwight Howard is. And the immature, petulant pain in the freaking ass he is. Hell, Orlando, where he was drafted, at one point in time, took, helped lead them to the NBA Finals. Eventually, they couldn't wait to move on from him. The Lakers, they got him. Then they realized, oh, God, they couldn't wait to move on from him. The Houston Rockets, we have to choose between James Harden and Dwight Howard. Chose James Harden. Chose wisely. They couldn't wait to move on from Dwight freaking Howard. The Atlanta Hawks, same thing. Hell, the freaking Hornets, the same thing. Hell, the Brooklyn Nets, who just traded for him, they suck, so what does it matter? They wanted no part of Dwight Howard before he even laced it up for him, before he even suited up for him. So why in the hell would the Washington Wizards, with already questionable leadership in that locker room, with already questionable chemistry in that organization on that team, why in the fuck would you want to bring in the epitome of a locker room chemistry killing cancer? Dwight Howard, I don't get it. Why in the hell would you want Dwight Howard? So he's going to give you a bunch of rebounds that don't really matter. He's still a horrible free throw shooter. He's limited offensive skill. And he most certainly isn't worth all the baggage that he brings. And ladies of D.C., be warned. Dwight's coming. And apparently he's coming a lot. And he's coming for you. And if you want that gravy train, then <laughs> pony on up. Saddle up! Let him come in you! Because that's all he's good for! Killing locker rooms and exploding birth rates in the cities that he plays in! And sure some of you are going to sit there and go, He is not a bad player. He is a Hall of Famer. These chemistry things are overrated and skip these skip and whoop these whoop. Ah, I'm blowing out your ass! Dwight Howard is an overrated piece of garbage. He is garbage. Oh, I'm going to spread the love. Praise God. Oh, that's God's love, baby. Give me a break. Freaking hypocrite. And all these years later, he's still never grown the hell up. And you can still do childish things, and you can be crazy and silly and fun, and still be a man when you need to. The only thing Dwight Howard might lead the league in this year for the Wizards is technical fouls. 
five million dollars that the Wizards are going to wish they could desperately get back. I promise you.